So I got this graphics card in the mail today from China, and you can see what I got right there. It's a GTX 560 SE, and I looked it up, and it was really weird because uh, this one in particular, uh, it's got two 6-pin PCIe inputs. I mean, you'd think, why? why would a 560 need that? I mean, it could just use one 8-pin if it was for overclocking or something like that, but it's got this single fan with a well, not very expensive looking aluminum heat sink not, not really you know top-notch cooling but look at this it looks like it was blowtorched or something and the the yellow plastic in the plugs it seems like it's been I, I wanna say someone's baked it in an oven probably to revive it so this is not, you know, reassuring news. I mean, if this is a working graphics card, it's a good deal. It was like 25 bucks or something like that for a 560, which is... <laughs> Alright, I gotta show you the computer. The computer itself is quite hilarious. This is it right here. Also, all, all I've got is a 720p old Insignia TV hooked up to it. I'll turn the lights on. Yeah, this is, it's a bit of a sleeper build in the manner that it's just using an old case. I'm going to go ahead and get my tools in a second so I can take it apart. So obviously so I can install the graphics card in it. But so yeah, I guess this video will just be a log of me taking apart this computer and installing the graphics card and seeing if it works. It'll be an adventure because I, okay, I'm just making this video on the spot. I'm not, you know, doing some ridiculous scripted nonsense where I, uh, I had already tested the graphics card, and I mean, I started the video with it out of the box already, but that's because I, like, that. that is literally the first thing I did when I got home from my morning shift, is I just, I drove up to the mailbox, unlocked the mailbox, saw that the graphics card was in there because I tracked it on the shipping, and took it out of the box while I was, uh, you know, on my way back to my house, so I was remarkably and understandably eager to find out that it was indeed the graphics card and that I... Oh sh I'm crying out loud. I hate reaching back behind the desk to get the cables again. That's why I was trying to stow them here, but whatever. I know it's messy. This whole place is messy, honestly. But anyways. Oh, I, for I forgot that I used service screws to uh, secure the hood of the case on, so I don't necessarily need a screwdriver, at the moment anyways, I'm gonna need one soon to get the graphics card out. Damn it! Every time! I messed this up. Alright, anyways. Sorry about the awful camera angle, but I'm having to use my phone hand to take the case it off. Alright, here is the internals of the power supply. That, I know you are immediately curious as to what this is. This is this thing. And the reason that it's not in there right now, when there's clearly not a disk drive in there, is because when I'm, when the case is off like this, well, when the hood is off the case like this and I'm carrying the case around, all too often I get used to gripping it like that. And of course when I do that, habitually, I punch in this panel and then yeah, so I just stow it there for now, obviously. Oh, you know, that's, this is, this is that panel. This is actually um, one of these, because I uh, put a floppy drive in for, you know, aesthetics. I also found a, a zip drive from the surplus store and put that in there as well. I actually have a zip drive over here. Anyways, back to this. So here is the GPU, NVIDIA Quadro FX. 3700. Again, equivalent to a 9800 GT, which is not, it's old. It's really, really, really old, but um, it plays Call of Duty Black Ops on the lowest settings playably, uh, play a, in a playable manner. It actually plays the game fairly well, so that was the stopgap for now, and then I told him well, actually, I didn't tell him at all. I would try and see if I could find something nicer for him. I have this computer over here. 
which is also mine, uh, but that is folding all the time, so I haven't really given them explicit permission to game on it all the time. And this one, I mean, he games on it on occasion, but I suspect because the settings aren't as good as they could be that he doesn't game as often. He's also really busy. He's got an, a six-hour shift, no, a five-hour shift, and then another three-hour shift at the airport that I work at, so, yeah. But this is the Quadro FX3700M, a very old card, but very capable. But anyways, now we've got this. But the big issue now is we have to figure out the six pins. Yeah, we'll just plug it in and see, because the, the Quadro is already using this, and this is coming from, oh, it's coming from Polix connectors as well. Yeah. So I kind of forgot that this is a, it's a really cheap PSU that, I don't know if this was in my stash or if I got this from the surplus store as well, but it's probably just some generic 300 watt piece of crap. Oh, let's just, we'll do one six pin first and see what happens if the computer even decides to boot. Well, if the card dis decides to display video, is more technically what I should have said. Come on. And for all of you uh, techie, savvy people who are looking at me all antsy going, where's your anti-static gear, or you're not handling that card correctly for leverage, blah, blah, blah. May I remind you how much I paid for this card again? And then how much you can guess I paid for all the rest of this hardware? If this was, you know, a build that a friend of mine was spending thousands of dollars on, even hundreds of dollars on, I would definitely put in the proper effort to assemble it, but, you know, this, no. And also, electronics are a lot more robust than people make them out to be. Okay, I gotta put this one on. I'm trying to do a good angle so you can see what I'm doing, but um, the reality, unfortunately, is that I need two hands for this job. Sorry, people of the entertainment world who desire entertainment and want me to, you know, give you the best possible camera angle. What is wrong? Why am I... Is the shroud in the way or something? No, should be, should be fine. Is this in the way? Is this in the way? No. Let's try again. Because this isn't seating against that. Precisely. You know what? No, I lost another screw. Nope, it's just slid up in there. Yeah, right there. I'm just holding the PC in my lap now. Alright, so for those who are curious about the RAM and the CPU. Athlon X2, really crappy Athlon X2. And then this is four gigs of RAM total from two two gigabyte RAM modules, obviously. Maybe it's because this is bent. It's not actually going into those slots. I would be so mad if that's what it was. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, look at that. Seated perfectly. Right, where's that screw? Where's that screw? It's not still there. I, I put it up somewhere. Where is it? Yo. Yo. Oh, there it is. Alright. Now I've got the screw in so you all can see what I'm doing. I should probably do the top one, actually. No, nah, this will do. I'm just trying to test and see if the card even works, so so that I can go on eBay and complain. Also, let me uh, find a nice shred. Yeah, there we go. That one's shredded to bits, so that you people can cringe. Anyways, yeah. 
is obviously not the computer that receives the best treatment from me. And then that is in. Alright, so. You know, you guys realize that if the card doesn't power on, and I suspect it's because we need both 6-pin PCIe's plugged in, I am going to go and get that other connector that the Chinese sent me, and just take another four Molex connectors and plug it in. That way, you guys are going to hate me. I don't even know if I have two other Molex. That is somewhere, do not that, that. No, I don't think I do. Wow. I'm going to have to improvise. I think I've got a SATA to 6-pin PCIe power connector anyways. Alright, I, I think we're good to go. I got the well, one power cable plugged in and the card is seated properly in the machine. So now I just got to hook all these cables back up. We don't need anything in it. Not yet, anyways. We install a driver. We're gonna need it, but I mean, it's moot point if the card can't even power on. So the card has an analog output. Should I use it or should I test the DVI? Is the DVI? Yes, it is the type that takes both analog. Well, that's like I should say, transmits both an analog and a digital signal. Hey. Another roommate of mine. Plugging that in there. Oh, that white tape right there, that is a USB port that is non-functional. Well, it functions actually, it's just broken. Tongue has come off of it, so if you plug shit in there, you have a risk of shorting the USB port. It's a good thing it happens to this motherboard and not, you know, an Asus Pro or something like that. Whatever higher end motherboard is would be a shame for it to happen to. Okay. I had oh yeah, there's the fourth. And am I good to go? Am I missing anything? Come on, baby. We had a one beep from the computer, which means it's booting fine. So, yeah, probably needs two PCIe connectors. Wow. That's terrible. <laughs> A 560 that needs two six pin. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, whatever. Let's see if we can find something. To uh, to Molex to I need something else something that SATA to that's cool that's one Molex to two SATA like this well, that's another or may have been the same I just wasn't paying attention. Lighten up for. It's apparently 74 degrees there. Right, I'm gonna look in here one last time. Maybe it's in the other computer that has the 1060 in it that's folding right now. Oh, what's this? 
Yes! That's exactly what I need right now. Alright, set it up. This is a single 6 pin to 2 6 slash 8 pin PCIe. GPU manufacturers or whoever, whatever technicians are out there, if they're looking at this setup right now, two Molex connectors, probably even on the same rail, <laughs> to one six pin, split again into two six pin. But hey, it's powering a 560. For the love of God, what what is the TDP of a 560? It can't be 150. Is it really 150? Well, I mean, I don't know. I have. I, I should probably look it up. But seriously, like, why does a 560 need this much? This is like GTX 1070 territory. What I'm doing right here. And I would never ever power an, a 1070 like this. Not in a million years. Actually, maybe if a 1070, like, maybe in you know, 20 years when a 1070 will probably be worth, like, $50. Well, as much as I bought this card for, basically. And then we'll be basically in the same situation. <laughs> Best power. Okay, let's do it. Give me video. Adjusting. Hey, it's Windows! It's working! <laughs> yes! Is the fan spinning on the GPU? Oh yeah. We got a GPU. We got a GTX 560 SE.